What's good everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now you guys read the title, you know what we making. We making a restaurant style loaded baked potato. And guess what folks, I got my very first sponsored video. It's brought to you by, there it is right there. Brought to you by Joy Joe. Hey listen, these right here, these salt and pepper shakers, this right here, I love them. Hey, it fits my personality. So, if you've been following me, you know I'm all about like presentation. That's part of the cooking for myself. You know what, I'm big into my set, how everything looks around it, you know what I mean? And then when I saw these, check them out. So after seeing them, I knew I had to have them. You wanna talk about something that's like elegant, looks good on your dining room table. Listen, they made out of glass. You know what, and I gotta tell you this, the most important thing about these are, listen, they pocket friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down in the description box below so you guys can check them out. Again, listen, you know what? You're talking about something that like, you know, looks good on the table. These are it right here. Hey, Joey Joe, I wanna say, hey, thank you. And with that being said, we finna break right into this video. Okay, going over the ingredients. We got two large potatoes. Listen, I'm in Texas, so you know everything is huge in Texas. Okay, we got cheddar cheese. And then, you know what? I said one cup, but those are all like uh, estimations. You know what I mean? Uh, now we got green onions. Listen, I got three individual green onions. I did the tops and the bottoms, you know, both green and white. That was chives. Then right here we got bacon. You can use as much bacon as you want. It depends on how much bacon you want to put in there. And that's a rotisserie chicken. Now, I'm going to cut those and put that on top. And then, of course, we got our salt and pepper. Now, what you want to do is you want to get set up. So we're going to start with our potatoes. First thing you want to do is, I'm, you can use any kind of oil, but I'm using right there, that's an extra virgin olive oil. You know, what you want to do is make sure your potatoes, first of all, have been washed, scrubbed and washed, which these have already been done and, you know, and uh, dried. So then what I did was I just coat them. Next thing, you want to get yourself some foil. Once you got your foil, you want to get yourself a fork. What you want to do is you want to poke it. I poke it around 10 times. Listen, you got to have some somewhere for that heat you know, when it's in that oven for the heat to escape. And then there's no certain uh, way that you do this right here. Just wrap it up, you know, seal it so nothing gets out because we want to make sure it bakes, uh, bakes evenly. And then you want to do it for your second one or how many ever ones you're doing. That right there, I'm using my Breville oven. It's already been preheated to 350 degrees. So listen, I put it in. I don't put it on no rack or nothing. I mean, I don't put it on no type of pan. I just put it in there. I set it for one hour. And then, you know what? Then I check it. Those are huge. So listen, after one hour, it still needed a little bit more time. So what I did was I added another 15 minutes to it and then they turned out perfect. Now, once they're done, you know, I take them out. And then you want to let them cool a little bit and you want to, hey, listen, let me just say this. You want to make sure that you uh, keep some type of caution because listen, those are extremely hot. Now, all we want to do is we want to open them up. You're going to see some of the steam come up off of them. Listen, then you want to take your fork just to check. You want to check to see if it's tender. Now, once you, you know, you stuck your fork in there and it's like super tender. Now, what you want to do is you just want to cut it. I don't cut it in half. I cut it at about 65% above. You know what I mean? So listen, you want to have a bigger side and a smaller side. That smaller side, you want to go ahead and get you a spoon and you want to, you know, dish out all of the potatoes and put it into a bowl, as you see right there. And then you want to, you know, I discarded the skin. And then right here, what I'm doing is making it like a little boat. You know, taking all of this uh, the, uh, potatoes, the potato stuffing and putting it inside of that bowl. Then once you've done that for as many potatoes as you have, that's a half a stick of uh, butter. Now this is up to you. You can put as much butter in there as you want to. If you got more, then I probably suggest that you probably put a whole stick. But right there with that heat, listen, that melted just fine. And then, hey, here's the key to cooking, you guys. You got to taste your food as you, you know, at different stages. So I just tasted it. I know it needed a little salt right off the back. It needed salt. And then when I tasted it, I adjusted it. And then after that, then I went with the pepper. And then, you know, you do the same thing. Listen, that's essential. That way you don't have no surprises and your food turns out, you know, just awesome. So you want to just make sure it's mixed properly. And then once it's done, you want to go ahead and refill the bigger por portions of your potato. So just like you see right there. And of course, you saw that I had uh, used a, a rotisserie chicken. So listen, I just shredded it, you know, with my hands. I went ahead and just put some shredded chicken on the top. Then put some of this shredder, shredded cheddar cheese on there. Once I'm done with both of those, I went back into the oven. And then, you know, it's still at 350 degrees. All I'm going to do is, now this right here, I don't have no time for you. I just suggest you guys keep an eye on it. It only took this right here about five or six minutes for it to melt the cheese. And there you have it right there. Now, I just went ahead, you know, added a little bit more cheese to it. 
Now this is the part where you guys own it and you make it your own. But what you want to do is you just want to decorate it. As you can see, I'm putting more chicken on the top. You know what, I'm gonna hit some chicken, a little bit more cheese. I'm gonna put some sour cream on it. And then we're gonna come back with some of those chives. Hey, you got the picture. This is what you do. Don't forget, you guys can use any type of meat. You know what, uh, you saw that I put in the, uh, the description, you can put mac and cheese. You know what, the sky's the limit. And there you have it, you guys, restaurant style baked potato. So tell me what you guys think about this one right here. Super easy to make. Hey, listen, this is the best way that I can think of that if you want to get your, your inside of your potato, you want to get it, you know, thoroughly mixed so you can get it with that butter. You can even put sour cream in there. But as you saw, I just went to butter, salt, pepper and then re-stuffed it back into the uh, skin. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what would you even use for a topping? Also, you saw me using these salt and pepper shakers by Joyvo. Listen, it's called the Revere Collection. If you guys are interested in picking those up, listen, I'm gonna put a, a link down in the description box below so you guys can check them out. Hey, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplified find these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and if you've been watching me for a while you guys know how i'm gonna end this one i'm out of here peace